the 2023 recession may be your chance to get rich. If you know what you're doing, this might be one of the easiest times for you to increase your net worth dramatically in a generation. There's a popular saying that riches are made in recessions, and it doesn't take much to realize that we're already beginning to move forward to that point. Nine out of ten CEOs are bracing for recession. JP Morgan warns the stock market could fall by another 20 points. Although this might sound negative, recessions do happen on a regular basis. And if you make the right use of them, you can set yourself up for the rest of your life by taking advantage of some incredible discounts and opportunities. According to Warren Buffett, bad news is an investor's best friend. So let's get into exactly what is expected to happen through these next 12 to 24 months. The best benefits that you will be able to take advantage of today and precisely what you can do to make sure you're in the best position to make as much money as possible. If you're liking this content, please subscribe to the channel. Let's start by talking about a recession, so you know what you're up against. Generally, recessions are categorized by a rise in unemployment, a decrease in wages, and a decrease in consumer confidence. In addition, there could be long-lasting effects of all aspects of the economy, including stocks, food, and vehicle services. Usually with a recession, companies report lower earnings at the end of the quarter and lower projections for the next quarter. This leads to layoffs, which adds to consumer spending less, and with consumer spend less, companies invest less. Knowing all of this, how does one become rich in a recession? Well, you have to know a few key principles. One, everything becomes less expensive. I believe that even though one thinks this is not a good time to invest, my stocks are down 30%, a wealthy person sees this as an opportunity to buy those exact same companies for a 30% discount. And who doesn't love a bargain? Two, less competition. There is no question that businesses scale back, fold, preserve cash, and play it safe when times are tough. But this opens the door for small, aggressive companies to stand out and take over. Three, more opportunity. In a way, a recession is the market's way of separating the wheat from the chaff. It allows newer and smaller businesses the opportunity to grow and bring in fresh new perspectives. Four, after every bear market comes a bull market. According to Yahoo Finance, historically, the S&P 500 has fallen an average of 29% during recession periods, with a median drop of 24%. But once stocks have reached their low, the average return the following year is 40%. And after two years, the market has increased by 58%. So, knowing all this, what should you do? One, cut back on your expenses. By tracking your income, cutting unnecessary spending, and operating a lean budget, you can reinvest your money regularly. Along with this, you should outline how you would make up your lost income if your income is cut by 20 to 50%. If you can take the measures ahead of time, then you will not be affected as much. 2. Hold some cash. Despite statistics indicating that money is best invested immediately, I strongly believe you should always have a cash position at all times to take advantage of any opportunity that may arise. 3. Guard your career. Ultimately, this is the best hedge you can have against whatever happens. After all, your worst case scenario is losing your job alone with a market crash and not having the funds to hold investors long enough for them to recover. I urge you to take advantage of this unique opportunity by improving yourself, learning new skills, and doubling down on everything you need. Four, invest for the long term. Generally, you shouldn't invest money that you may need in the next five years, and preferably even longer. Now is not the time to take up day trading or try and time the market. Study after study has shown that over the long term, time in the market is better than timing the market. Dollar cost averaging is the best course of action, so stay in the market and ride off the wave. Five, diversify your investments. Maybe you're too aggressively invested if you can't handle a 20% drop in prices without panicking. Consider adding large cap and international stocks to your portfolio if you are largely invested in U.S. stocks. If you are looking for a little more stability, you might consider investing in real estate. The more diverse your portfolio, the better you will be able to handle major drops in certain markets. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this.